Hello YouTube. I want to talk today about one of the most idiotic things I've ever seen. I went to church this morning. I go to a little bitty church in a little town called Haslett, Texas. Uh, there's probably 10 or 12 regular attendants. Uh, there's always some parking. I got there today. There was no parking. It was. It, I was like, what is going on? And some people were, were parking behind other people. So I, I thought, well, I guess I can do that. Uh, I get out of my car and start to go to church. And uh, the lady I parked behind is sitting in her car. So I turn around and I ask her, I said, are you uh, staying or are you fixing to leave? She said, oh, I'm, I'm only here for a little bit. I said, well, what is going on? What are all these people sitting in their cars out here? They're not inside the church. She said, oh, Pokemon is supposed to uh, appear. I said, well, that's not cool. Y'all are taking up all the parking for our church. She said, well, we're only going to be here a little bit. Well, that's, that's stupid. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Uh, chasing Pokemon. Come on. What reward do you get chasing Pokemon? It's kind of demonic that they would set up at church when people are trying to get to church and take up all the parking. I, I, I just couldn't believe it. Uh, if you're going to chase something, chase after Jesus, the Messiah, Yeshua, that came to save you, to wash your sins away, to cleanse you of all your wrongdoings. The reward is everlasting life. Pokemon can't do nothing for you. Get real, people. What are you chasing after? Some chase after booze. Some chase after drugs. Some chase after women and men. Uh, this is a crazy world. Uh, it's all going to burn up. Jesus is everlasting. His love is everlasting. His reward is everlasting life. Find a good church. Find, find a Bible. To start reading it. We're living in strange times. There's crazy, crazy stuff going on. You don't know what to believe anymore. I was listening to a, a lady talking about the, the Fed, and she is claiming it isn't a private bank. Uh, there's so much dif disinformation out there. What, what can you believe? What can you put your faith in? What can you bank on? You can bank on the Word of God. He protected His Word. There's so many oppositions saying, oh, the Bible is just, you know, some man's opinion. No, it's not. It's inspired by the Holy Spirit. It's words of life. The Lord God Almighty protects His Word. You, you better get that in you because times are coming. You may not find one. You better have it in your heart. You can bank on it. There's so much uncertainty in this world, and there's going to be more lies and lies and lies coming. If you get the Word of God in you, you can bank on it. It's for sure. I love you, friends. Please seek the Lord while He can be found. Times are short. There, there's lots happening. He loves you. He died. He suffered and died. That's what people leave out. Oh, yeah, he died for my sins. He suffered so you wouldn't have to go to hell. Hell is real. You can bank on that. Heaven is real. You can bank on that. Jesus' love for you is real. Please turn to him while you can. Amen.